So hi everybody and welcome back to the Bitcoin Day Trader channel and today I'm going to teach you guys how to use BTC Recover on a Multibit Classic wallet on the Mac. It is important that you have installed BTC Recover the right way so you can go back to the previous tutorial that I made and install BTC Recover so that we can use it to brute force our Multibit Classic wallet. And you can use this tutorial on all sorts of wallets and we're just going to use the Multibit Classic wallet because that is one of the wallets that I already have on my computer. Let's start with making a new Multibit wallet. We did save our new wallet and now we are going to add a password and that password is going to be Bitcoin Day Trader. Add the password to the wallet. My wallet can be found and your wallet can be found here at the users, your name, library, application support, multibit, multibit.wallet. So you can go to finder, you press your username. As you can see here right now, we can't see the folder library because it is a hidden folder. So the first thing we have to do is show our hidden files. To show the hidden files and folders on a Mac, we have to open terminal. So you press command space, you type ter for terminal, press enter and you get a new Terminal. In the terminal, you have to write default write com.apple.finder space apple show all files true. And then you press enter. It isn't visible yet, as you can see here, but we have to kill all finder. And that means restart finder. If we open finder now, as you can see now, the hidden folders are now visible. We need to go to this folder here, the library folder, and then you get to application support. And within this application support, you find all sorts of application support. As you can see, we have the multi-bit wallets here. If you have a different wallet, it will probably be in this folder as well. So it is important that you have the hidden files visible. Right now, we have our multi.wallet here. That is the wallet that we just created. Here in multi-data, that's for the wallet multi.data, we can find our key backup. You can use either this file here, the key file, or you can use this multi.wallet, but it is important to know that the .key file is multiple times faster in BTC Recover than the .wallet file, because the .wallet file is a big file with a lot of information, and the multibit.key file is a file with only your private key encrypted. It is encrypted with the MD5 and the AES 256 CBC, if I'm right. It is the same encryption as we have used on our Android wallet to decrypt it. But that's not important for this tutorial. So what, what we want to do now is open a new finder next to it. So if you press command N, you get a new finder. You go to the BTC Recover master folder that we have created in the previous tutorial. And what we can do now is copy your multibit.key file to the BTC Recover master folder. For the sake of this tutorial, it is smart if we rename the key file because it is a hard name to type in the terminal. So let's just call it multi.key. This is our encrypted multi-wallet file, the, the, the key file of this wallet that we just created. You see here multi.wallet, this is the key file for the wallet. The next thing we have to do is create a token.txt file. And the token.txt file is a file where you put some parts of the password that you can remember. As in the previous tutorial, I told you guys to install TextMate. You can use another text editor as long as it can create .txt files. Command N for new. So we have an empty text file here. This is gonna be our token file. So what are you supposed to do with the token file? In the token file, you put parts of the password that you can remember. I know that the password is Bitcoin Day Trader, the name of the channel. For the sake of the tutorial, we're just gonna write bit. That's a part that we remember. And we know that we have day in it. We know that we have trader and we know that we have coin in it. These are the four parts that we can remember. And of course, in your situation, if you have no clue what your password is, then this list is obviously going to be bigger. And let's save this file first. Let's save it to our BTC Recover master folder, that folder over here. Let's save it as token.txt. So as you see here, we now have a token.txt file here. So this means that we are ready to try and brute force it. So Standard, you are in your main direction, your personal direction, the direction where you have, if you press LS for listing, you see where it applications, movies, and as you see here, BTC Recover Master. So we have to go to that folder first. And you do that by typing CD for change directory to BTC Recover Master. 
Enter. As you see here, we are now in the BTC Recover Master folder. If we press LS, we are gonna see everything that we see here in the screen. So you see BTC Recover.py, you see our token.txt that we just created, and we can see our multi.key here. So the next thing we gotta do is try BTC Recover and check if our token.txt file is working. So you do that by writing Python to tell your terminal to use Python on the following file space and we're gonna use a .py file that's for Python the btc recover .py. let's start with double dash help it's gonna list us everything that we can do with the program so as you see here this is the list of things and the first thing we're gonna do is insert a token list the list of tokens partial passwords that is required after that we wanted to list our passwords list pass as you see here just list all password combination to test and exit so that's the first thing we're gonna do so what you can do now is press arrow up and you get your last command delete help and say token list space you have to add this token.txt file so token.txt space and we want it to list our pass if we press enter now it's going to list all the combinations possible with these four here you see bit day trader coin and here bit day bit day trader somewhere in this list is bitcoin day trader the next thing we got to do we know that our token file is working so instead of listing our password we delete list pass we're going to tell it to use a wallet so type wallet space and then the name of the wallet and that will be multi.key with a capital m multi.key and now you press enter and you wait and whoa we did it we got it again as you see here we found our password that was bitcoin day trader we got our password back so that's the way you run btc recover on a mac it's not that hard i personally think it's easier than on windows the same principle would apply to other wallets as well if you for instance have an other wallet a doggy coin wallet a litecoin wallet or a btc core wallet or whatever you just copy your wallet in the main directory of btc recover master and you name the wallet here instead of multi.key you can put another wallet if you have another kind of wallet I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something new today. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, it would be awesome if you would subscribe to my channel because I make these videos every once in a while. If you guys need any assistance in any way, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below because I usually react within 24 hours. I try to reply to all of the comments and emails that I get. There are some users that are interactive and that share their knowledge in the comment section below. So you might find the information that you need in the comment section. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, see you guys next time.